Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to show you a video today of how I paint my orcs. So the model I'm going to be painting today is the orc war boss on boar. So there will be a few extra steps in terms of the boar. Um, so I'll be taking you through what stages I go through into my painting. It's, it's quite, for me, it's, it, I feel it's quite a quick colour scheme. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a quick list of the paints you'll need for this colour scheme. Which should be on the screen now. Right, so there's, that's the list. Um, so what I'm going to do is start with the first colour now, which is Rhinox Hide. So this will be the base coat for the skin of the boar, the wolf pelt, boar's fur, um, I think that's it. Anything like that? So, place a shake. Place it down. Then, thinner, either lime, medium, or water. Whichever you've got to hand. Normally water. And mix that up. The brush I'm going to be using is just the large base brush because obviously this is the first layer so you don't have to worry about being too neat with this. Then just start layering it on. Probably two, two coats maybe this depending on how the first coat goes down. One oxide does go down quite well as a colour. So what I'll do guys is I'll come back to you. So can't see it too well, see if I can change the brightness. So that's what I'm laying up. And that's going to be all over there. Wolf pelts and everything. So I'll come back to you when I've got that and then we'll show you the next stage. So now that stage is complete. So I'll quickly show you what I've done. Just the ball itself. I did forget to mention that the trousers need doing as well. Um, wolf pelt. The top. I can't seem to get focused. But yeah, that layer went down really, really well. So next layer is going to be Gawthor Brown. But this time it's only, it's not the trousers, is going to stay the Rhinox hide. And it's just going to be the fur and the boar's body with this colour. Again, thin your paints. Just going to use the same brush as what I used last time, which is going to be the... I did say the large base brush in the first part, but it is actually a medium base brush. Where's it gone? Next, your paints up. Do, do, do. And as I say, just layer this on to the skin. I had my hand in the way in the first video. Don't have to do too neat with this one. Let's say two thin coats of this. As you can see it's going on it's going on but you can see through it. So another coat will bring it to where you need it to be. Yeah, so I say just do the ball itself, the fat pelt, leave the trousers, the fur and the collar here. Um yeah, and I'll get back to you in a sec guys when this is done as well. Alright guys, that's the Gotho Brown done. So that's I can't get the brightness up at the moment, but that's the layer just went on nice smoothly. Next colour, what we're gonna do is Red Belcher for the steel bit, which is chain mail, chain those little fence, chain around the little horns here. So 
I do apologise, guys. I have got a bit of a cold, so if you hear sniffing or any weird noises, I do apologise. Get that open. Add to the plate. Best to keep your paints always as thin as possible as well. Thinner your paints, even if you've got to do more layers. It's one thing what I learned the hard way when I first started out. My paint went on so thick. And in all honesty, I thought it looked good. But looking back on them now, they were pretty shocking. Pretty shocking. I'm just going to use a medium layer brush for this. So all I'm going to be doing is chain mail. Little bits around his chest here where there's a bit of chain mail and the chain there. So what I'll do guys, is that's pretty much how it's going to be. I'll finish this off and I'll get back to you when this is done. Alright, that's the lead bit actually done. So, let's turn the bonus up here. Focus. There, that's it, train. Next colour is going to be Black Hearth Flesh, and that's just going to be for horns, the actual boar's face, frontal feature, but that's going to have another colour on top, but the Black Hearth Flesh I'm using as a first layer first, because the Cady Flesh down doesn't go too well over black. And then it's going to be for like little bandage, bandages between his legs there, any spikes, horns, teeth, anything sticking out, skulls, anything like that. So... Let's get that. Shake your paints up. Do do do. Get some dirt on your palette. Bit thin your paints. Always thin your paints. Also guys, I have got a Facebook page which is linked to my YouTube account. Anything I do, I'll put updates on there first if I'm going to put, uh, if I'm in the progress of making any other videos or anything like that, I will put it on there first. So. Like this. Oops, a daisy. With each colour that goes on, you start getting neater and neater, so it'll need to look at the stages where you haven't, you've been a bit messy on the last previous step. That's why I wasn't too worried about the uh, base coat of brown. Yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to go. So I'll get back to you in a bit, guys, when that bit's done. Right, that's the back half flesh done. It took me about a couple of two to three thin layers, depending on which bits I did. That's it. Skulls, the spikes, things like that. Turn the brightness up. There we go. Gotta keep adjusting this brightness. Hopefully I'll be getting a new camera which will help aid this.
But next color is going to be XV88. This is for any, there's only two bits on this I need to paint, which is the saddle, what he sits on, and the little cape that comes around his back. If you do make any mistakes, they just be touched up. That's what I had to do with the uh, some of the bits of the rack off fresh. It went a bit overboard in some places. Can't be perfect all the time. So get that on your palette. Again, thinner. I will be putting this video up in a few parts just so that the processing for is a little bit easier. Or oh, is it going all blurred? There we go. Mix that up. Um, also, I'm not going to show you the step of painting the hooves, but all you got to do is paint the hooves black. Well, I've missed the. Well, I've uh, got the brown on them. You get your painting down, start laying it on. I'm not doing any washes yet, just because laying these paints on, if I do make a mistake and there's been a wash down, you'll see a distinctive line where I've touched it up. If I do all the base coating first, then I do the wash, washes, like must I say, then it won't be as bad. Do, do, do. Anything where you think I could have done better guys though, just let me know. Because as I say, I'm only just like starting with this channel. And any improvements I can make will be duly noted. But yeah, it's going to be pretty much that saddle and his little cape thing that comes around. Oh, and any straps around his body as well, that'll be like the leatherish colour. But yeah, thanks guys, I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay guys, that's the uh, leather done, which is going to be the saddle and his little cape things, any straps around the mouth, around there. So now what we're going to do is all the armour panels, which will be the fist and red. This will be the End of part one. And I'll do a quick show of the red before I finish this video off though. Please leave a like, any comments that you may have, any suggestions, everything's welcome. So may have my paint too thin but painting it in armor panels so his head
quite enjoyable model to paint this one. Yeah, that's a pretty much red. A few little bits on his torso there, a bit on the body. But yeah, I'll get back to you when that's done. Thanks, guys. That's it, guys. Just finished off all the red panels. As you can see, we've got the helmet, little thing on his there, shoes, little bits on his sort of there. And also, I painted the hooves of the ball, which I said I was going to do, but then forgot to do. I had to do a couple of touch-ups where my red paint was just a little bit too thin. And it went onto, like, the face of the ball, but a bit of rack off flesh covered it back up. Yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's part one. Um, be sure to look out for part two. Um... And if you could like and subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. See you again soon, guys. Thank you.